Every year, around 55,000 phones are stolen in London alone, and thousands of tourists have their pockets picked in all the popular European tourist destinations. This guide aims to provide you with practical advice and strategies to minimise your risk of getting robbed and or scammed whilst travelling in Europe. Why should you listen to what I have to say? Well, I've travelled Europe a few times, including via Eurail Pass, rental cars, and staying in pensions, Airbnbs, and ski chalets. And the last tour was a two-year adventure in a motorhome, covering 28 countries and travelling approximately 66,000 kilometres. Wow, how good was that? Travelling in Europe can be a great experience, as Europe is filled with rich history, vibrant cultures, and mouth-watering cuisines. However, like any travel destination, it is essential to be aware of the potential risks associated with robberies and scams. Tourists can take proactive steps to safeguard their belongings and personal safety while enjoying everything Europe has to offer. On arrival in Europe, no matter whether you arrive by plane, ship, train or car, there will be someone watching to see if they can scam or rob you particularly if you look like a tourist. So let us discuss how we can minimise the chances of you being robbed or scammed whilst visiting Europe. 1. Don't dress like you are a tourist. It is great to be proud of your home country. However, by wearing country-specific clothing, you will definitely stand out as a tourist. 2. Don't wear expensive looking clothes with designer labels and try to look like a local as much as possible. Just try to blend in with the local people. Three, don't have cameras hanging around your neck. Where possible, use a smartphone for photos and keep them out of sight when not in use. Four, be very wary of people offering you special deals, such as any of the following. Discounted car rental. Discounted overnight or longer term accommodation. Good rate currency exchange. Some sort of shuttle service to your destination. And value meal deals. You should have done your research and have any of those items sorted out prior to leaving your last port of call and or home. There is usually plenty of value accommodation and value meals within a short walking distance of your arrival point. 5. How to avoid pickpockets. Pickpockets operate in crowded places like markets, train stations, airports, ferry docks and tourist attractions. These often work in groups and use colleagues to distract you whilst they pick your pocket unnoticed so be aware of your surroundings at all times. 6. How to avoid bag snatchers. Bag snatchers use several different ways, such as when a thief runs by and takes an unattended bag or snatches it from your shoulder. A similar method is snatching a bag whilst using an e-scooter or a Vespa motor scooter, often targeting tourists who look distracted. Make sure you put your arm through the shoulder strap and clasp your hand around the bag whilst walking. If seated, put the leg of the chair through the strap and place the bag between your feet. 7. How to stay safe when walking in towns and cities. Whenever possible, walk on footpaths in the opposite direction to the traffic flow. That way you may be able to foresee some incident before it becomes a reality. If you feel you are being followed when walking, look for reflections in shop windows. If you are still unsure, cross to the footpath on the other side of the road for a while, then check again. Don't walk at the same pace all the time. Vary your pace or suddenly come to a complete stop to catch out a would-be follower. It is advisable to wear a backpack on your front, particularly when in busy areas and flea markets, so the zippers can't be opened from behind without you noticing. 8. How to minimise the chances of being robbed or scammed. 
Be constantly aware of your surroundings and what is happening. Be particularly cautious in crowded areas such as flea markets where there is the opportunity for scammers to bump into you. Never leave your belongings unattended. Use anti-theft bags such as those designed for security with lockable zippers, hidden compartments or reinforced straps. Cross-body bags or those with zippers that face your body can also deter pickpockets. One of the best brands available are Scott E Vests, who even have wearable carry-on bags. They are fairly expensive but very worthwhile. Don't make it obvious that you have valuables with you. Keep items like smartphones, tablets and cameras out of sight when not in use. Don't carry large amounts of cash, as any cash you carry should be in a money belt along with your passport and other important documents and worn under your clothes. If possible, don't walk in quiet areas. Only walk in busy streets and bustling neighbourhoods, especially at night. Avoid shortcuts through dark alleys or unpopulated streets, especially after dark. Consider using mobile payment systems like Apple Pay or Google Wallet, which can reduce the amount of cash you carry. If your phone is stolen, being able to locate it could help you retrieve it, so use apps to trap your devices. Public transportation is often a prime area for pickpockets, so where possible, sit near the entrance or in areas covered by cameras. Avoid the back of the bus or the back of the train where thieves might have more space to manoeuvre unnoticed. When booking hotels or hostels, check reviews regarding safety. Look for places with good security measures like gated entrances and in-room safes. Always store your valuables in the hotel safe rather than leaving them unattended in your room. Losing your travel documents can be very stressful, so it is a good idea to keep digital copies. Take photos of your passport, visa, ID, credit cards and travel insurance documents and store them securely in cloud storage. If you are travelling with a companion, send copies to them. 9. What to do if it all goes wrong? Despite your best precautions, situations can still arise and if you find yourself a victim of theft, do your best to stay calm. If possible, go to the police straight away and file a report. A police report will be required for you to be able to make a claim through your insurance policy. If credit or debit cards are stolen, contact your bank to cancel them as soon as possible. Don't forget to advise your bank and credit card providers the dates and destination you intend travelling prior to leaving home. If your passport and or visa has been stolen, contact your embassy for further assistance and guidance. Safety in public bathrooms. When using public bathrooms, I can only offer advice for men, as I don't frequent ladies' bathrooms. If using the urinal, walk to the far end of the urinal so you won't have anyone walking behind you. That way, you will always know who else is using the bathroom whilst you are there. If using a cubicle, also use the one at the far end away from the entry. Be aware that public bathrooms can be very hard to find in some cities. If there are multi-storey office blocks or shops, sometimes bathrooms can be found on levels above the ground floor. Most ground floors will not have bathrooms. In Athens, as in many European cities, public bathrooms are usually non-existent. However, most restaurants and cafes have a bathroom and will usually make them available to tourists. Just ask the maitre d' at the entrance. Worst case scenario, a cup of coffee will usually get you access to a bathroom. It's also a good idea to carry some tissues and or toilet paper, as some bathrooms do not provide those items. Make sure to carry some small change as some public bathrooms may charge an entry fee. In Germany, it is known as pay to pee as most public bathrooms charge an entry fee, even fast food franchises.